So I started watching videos before finding myself in the rabbit hole that is YouTube. What started off as watching car reviews, I found myself watching camera reviews and how to create cinematic videos and stuff. Um, so it was at that point I realized I had to leave the house and make another GLE 350D video. Um, the last one was the GLE 300. So this is the GLE 350 AMG line with the premium plus pack. Oh, uh, and one more thing. So today I'm completely on my own. Um, so I'll be writing, talking, recording, editing, cropping, all that kind of stuff, all by myself. Oh, it is so muddy and so cold. So, while we're on the subject of being cold, let's um, firstly talk about comfort. Comfort wise, let's start off with our door trim here. We have a fully electronically adjustable seat with a memory function for you and two other drivers or like me, you can have a normal driving to work. A little bit higher if I'm going off road or if I'm just gonna sit in here for an hour and just watch Netflix on my iPad, I have number three. I've got heated seats for myself and my passenger. I can also, by pushing this button here, which has got a little picture of a seat and an L next to it, means that I can control the seat next to me. Not only that, but I can put on the heated seat. I'll switch it off. And of course, it will remember your mirrors and also remember your steering column, which you can adjust from this little switch here. Very comfortable indeed. And you've got a button down here in the door, door bin, uh, which enables you to open and close your boot uh, without having to get out of the car, basically. Now, over here, you have your touchscreen um, display here. So, I mean, it, for me, it's a little bit awkward because I'm right-handed, so I find it a bit hard, especially when you're driving to point and sort of shoot to exactly what I want. If like me, you are right-handed as well, you can still use this sort of touchpad on the steering wheel to navigate through the various menus, or you can use this touchpad down here, which has re been redesigned in the GLE, the A-Class and the B-Class, and a few other models, and it's just a little bit more easy, a bit more tactile, a bit more, you get better feedback from it as well, I find. So, all areas are covered. Just a word of advice, if you're anything like me, make sure you're carrying a microfiber cloth with you at all times. As this is the 350D, uh, seven seats come as standard. So you've got your climate control for your uh, driver and your passenger. And at the back here, you've got it for your passengers as well. So they can all individually adjust the temperature in the car. The comfort aspect continues uh, just by your right knee here. You've got this little sort of panel of buttons. Um, very useful but not at the same time because it's made up of your handbrake your light switch and your dim and brightness for your screens well, all of which is pretty much automated so you never have to do anything with them your handbrake goes on and off automatically as do you have headlights and once you set this to the second sort of switch here it turns your wipers into automatic as well so that's you know two three things that you don't have to worry about when you're driving just very quickly, let's just extend the comfort into convenience. Now, although it's nothing new, it is worth mentioning that Easy Pack Tailgate is a huge convenience. This is the only prop I had. As long as you have your key with you, you just simply wave your foot under the bumper. As well as the Easy Pack Tailgate, folding mirrors, running boards, roof rails and this new easy access mode all come as standard. Not to mention the huge panoramic glass sunroof, keyless entry, 64 color ambient lighting, an MBUX featuring Hey Mercedes, blind spot assist and the 360 camera are all included too. Right, let's talk performance shall we? The engine is a turbocharged six cylinder three litre diesel engine and it produces just over 270 horsepower. Um, it's a you know, considerable uplift from the 300D that we reviewed a few months ago um, and it just helps it you know, accelerate that much smoother and get you out of 
sticky situations a little bit more in style shall we say and the 0 to 60 time comes up in just 6.9 seconds in terms of fuel consumption well although it's a diesel it is a very heavy vehicle and it's four wheel drive and it's got 22 inch wheels so most of my driving is 90% motorway so the last three and a half thousand miles are done or just under of average 33.2 miles to the gallon which isn't too bad however if you're going to be driving it in around town you're probably better off in the 300 Anyone who knows me knows that I love SUVs. My favorite car is the G-Wagon. Most people, you ask them what their dream car is, they'll say Lamborghinis, they'll say Ferraris, they'll say AMG GTs, Porsches, all that kind of stuff. Me, for me, it's a G-Wagon. It's weird, but I love them. Okay, it doesn't even have to be a AMG. It could literally just be a 350D. I may have mentioned it once or 10 times before, but the reason for my endless love for SUVs is the, the feeling that it gives me, the high driving position, the go anywhere capability, all weather capabilities and it just gives you that sensation of go roam, be free, travel, go and see places and that's why I, I love them. When it comes to practicality this thing is in a class of its own. Of course, you've got the additional two seats in the boot uh, to turn it from a five-seater into a seven-seater. However, if you don't need that many seats, and obviously they fold down, creating a massive boot, and even if you fold the, uh, the second row of seats down, then it turns into a minivan. So, so huge boot, seven-seater, roof frails, optional tow bar, hugely practical. I'm not saying that this does anything drastically different to any other SUV that's out on the market. What I'm saying is that it's just nice having those creature comforts. Really, this is all the car you'll ever need. So, a lot like me today, a one-man band, this is the only car you'll need for your one-car garage. They're the bits worth thinking about if you are thinking about buying one of these. And before I forget, here's the cinematic bit. Enjoy. There you have it guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. See you soon.